Hello. <laughs> How are you today? I hope you're doing absolutely wonderful. I, um, I've already done a Zoom. Uh, thought I was recording, but guess what? I was on the wrong Zoom account. I was on my regular Zoom account and it didn't record anything. I get to do it again. <laughs> you want to know why I'm laughing? I'm laughing because um, I have this thing that you don't allow a task or a job to um, dictate your emotional state. Meaning I can be all mad and upset that that didn't record and I did this, that, and the other, and it was great. And Oh, give me a break. It was just a recording that didn't record. I can do another one. Whatever I said, if it needs to be repeated, I can do it. See, when you truly understand the control that you have over your thinking, you get to choose what thoughts you get to have. But we're going to get straight into this one. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is a dream formula. Your life that you are living is yours, your creation, that you get to choose, keyword, you get to choose how you live this life, what your story is. This is your life. You were given this life. Um, and let's just say you were given um, a movie. And you're going to write this movie and you're going to star in this movie and you're going to direct this movie. And what's this movie about? Your choice. It's your life. Every single day is a new scene that you get to play, how you dress your character, what your character acts like. I mean, think about the movies that you watch. Identify with any of them and, and find out if you like that person. If not, Time to change. <laughs> but the dream formula, I came up with this dream formula so that I can help you and everyone that I work with understand that you are in control, that you have now in your hands a formula to get what you want. And if you apply this formula, you're going to notice that the things that you say you want, you'll start to manifest. I know it's, it's not woo woo. It's not magic. It's just work. Truly. You don't know what you don't know. Are you ready to learn? Are you ready to learn something that can propel you forward? Are you ready to learn something that you can use for the rest of your life to get exactly what it is that you say you want? The first thing I want you to do right now is I want you to say, I choose. There you go. I choose to say yes to me. Again, I choose to say yes to me. When you say yes to you, what you're doing is you are saying, what choices I decide, I am saying yes to me. When someone asks you to do something, the first thing that you say to yourself is, I say yes to me. What is my choice going to be? You're no longer doing something because you feel obligated to somebody else. You are now 100% in control making that choice. And when you choose to do something, you're doing it with the knowledge that you're saying yes to yourself. When you're saying yes to yourself, everything feels right. It's in alignment because that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be number one, not everybody else. And so when you recognize that you have this power of saying yes to you, and that helps you make the choices that you make, then you are taking ownership for your actions. You're not just reacting to whatever is happening around you, what someone said or job or task. 
a job or a task or somebody else's opinion about you. They don't need your emotional state to be altered in any way. A job and a task are just things to do. Just do them. Somebody else's way of treating you is information. Information on whether or not you're going to continue listening to what they have to say or whether you're going to be in the room with them or you're going to leave. This is, it's just information. When you do get affected by things that are going on, got that 90 second rule. That 90 seconds, you allow it to work through your body. You feel it, you name it, you, you um, get it out. If it's a, a, an energy that you really feel like, you're about to scream and yell, go beat up a pillow, go jump, Zen swing, I don't care. Just do something that's going to get some energy out so that it doesn't come out of your mouth in a negative way. Um, if you do need to have it come out of your mouth, yell and scream. Again, if you can't yell and scream because you don't have privacy or the cops might be called, you know, scream into a pillow. You know, whatever it is that you need to release. I'm not telling you to be a robot. I'm telling you that when you feel something, it only needs 90 seconds. After that, you just ready to reframe your thinking of what's going on. It's information for you to process. Someone says something or does something and it affects you emotionally. You take that information, you allow the, the, the feelings to move out of your body through this emotion. Once it's done now, your emotional mind is calmed down. So now you can logically understand the information that was given to you. This person just spoke to me in a way that I have chosen not to participate in. One, I can let them know, please stop talking to me this way. I choose not to let anyone speak to me this way. If you would like to speak to me, would you please talk in a calmer voice? Again, you're not yelling, screaming, meeting them at their level, you would like them to meet you down at your level of calm where you can have some understanding. Because when you're in an emotional state, guess what? You're not listening. You can't. You're too caught up in your your your, your conscious mind, your, your right ear. You're just go, 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 go. You're not even allowing yourself to just let your normal system relax and take in the information so that you can process it to figure out what actions you need to do. That's it, it's just information. Everything is just information for you to process and understand if it's moving you forward or backwards. Is this something I want in my life or not want in my life? Doesn't need to affect you emotionally. You get to choose what you want to affect you emotionally. It is, it's your choice 100%. Nobody else. You can blame everybody else because that's what we're used to. That's what society has told us to do, that it's everybody else's fault. Uh, go to therapy so that you can blame your parents because it's not your fault that you are this way. They're correct in that. But you also have to understand that just because what was imprinted for you as a child doesn't mean that's who you are now. One of the biggest things in my uh, therapy that I do is something called, it's not me. It's not me. It can never be me. That's the past. You can't go back and repeat that. You might think you can with the thoughts. You can emotionally and, and it can tie you down in a negative way, but you can't go and relive that experience again, no matter how hard you try. So when you recognize that that's not me, you can't go around blaming the person who your parents were back then because that's not them now. And even if they are still that individual who is not the person that's moving you forward, then you have a choice. You have information to move yourself away from them. I know you think that you have to have um, this family, this relationship for whatever reason. Because you need to have your parents' love. You, you, you didn't get it when you were a child and you need this love and acceptance. Okay, here's this amazing little mind trick to do. 
I want you to imagine if you didn't receive the love from your parents that you you deserved, that you wanted, that you needed. I want you to imagine that right now your parents are living with you. They're they're set up, they're happy, they're they're so excited that they're with you. They come into your room and they tuck you in. They kiss you goodnight. They might even say prayers with you if that's what you wanted. They might read you bedtime stories. You know, they're just they just can't wait to be and spend time with you. And then when you wake up in the morning, they're gonna make you breakfast and they can, they want to spend every second with you and they want to talk to you about all the things that you've learned and and they want to go over to this place and they want to meet your friends and they want to tell your friends all about how amazing you are. How long would you like that? How long do you need to have your parents in your life giving you all those things? If it's something that you're like, woohoo, I need that. Let's do that. Okay, good for you. Glad you got it. Or if you're like most of us going, no, nah, I really don't think I'd want my mom to be in my bedroom at night when I'm sleeping with my husband to come tuck me in. I don't need her to do that anymore. When I was a child, that was in a need and a want. As an adult, I don't need that anymore. It's not who I am. That's not me. When I was a child, I needed and wanted my mother's attention. Now that I'm an adult, I don't need and want my mother's attention. But that's not who I am. When I spend time with my mother, it's amazing because it's not a need. It's something I desire. It's something I want to do. It's something I make happen. It doesn't happen because it's a need. Oh, I've got to have this or my life won't be right. No, it's I'm choosing to spend time with my mother because I absolutely love every minute that I get to spend with her. Every minute I get to see her, to take her in, to feel her, to smell her, to know that she's right in front of me. Yes, those moments are amazing. But I no longer need them. I needed them when I was a child. And I had the most amazing, wonderful mother ever. And um, did it mean that there wasn't times that I felt neglected or not heard or not important? No, I did. And I've had to do a lot of therapy, um, but like this rapid transformational therapy to help myself through that, to get to this understanding, to get to this place where this information that I've been given reveals to me that I no longer need that. And as a child, I didn't have the words that I needed to say. So I said them to myself in hypnosis, the things I needed to hear at that age and I gave it to myself when it wasn't available to me doesn't matter what the circumstances were it still affected me that I didn't get what I needed in that moment so I gave it to myself I healed those wounds in hypnosis and I've been able to recognize that it's not me my past is not me I'm only in this moment. This is the only me. And that moment's gone and that me's gone and I'm a new me. Every moment's new. And so what I did is I created this dream formula to help not only myself, you know, I have these, um, these steps that I do for myself and that I teach my clients, but I wanted something that everyone could use. If, if you never work with me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, um, don't get my course, don't go on Patreon and, you know, sign up. If you, if you never do anything other than listen to this and apply the dream formula, I did my job. Because if you, well, not if, but like this, when you, when you apply the dream formula to your life, you will recognize how quickly your dreams manifest. Now, that's a big statement, right? How could I say something like that? Because there's 
there's just no way that you could actually do these steps and not get results. Just They're just not. I challenge you. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Because when I say you got to do the steps, I mean, you got to do the steps, not just learning the dream formula, because just hearing it, that's not going to make anything happen. You actually have to put in the action. You have to put in the work. And so you'll apply the dream formula and you will do it. Guess what? For 21 days, minimum, 21 days, you sit down with yourself and you work through the dream formula. You have your answers. They'll start to just be imprinted on you. You will know them. You really want to make it your life 63 days. If you're like, that's a lot of time, don't know. Well, are you worth it? Are you worth living a life you love? Or do you just want to keep going through the existence you have right now? It's your choice. I don't care. It's not affecting me. I'm living my life. I love my life. I love, I wake up every morning excited about my day. And I want to share that with you. I want you to wake up every day excited about your day. Loving every moment. Yes, I have bad times. Only 90 seconds at a time. But other than that, my life is amazing. Even when horrible things happen around me. Because I choose to only live in the moment. And those bad times aren't happening to me all the time. Just moments. And I deal in that moment and then I let it go. And I refocus on the beauty around me, on the purpose of my life. So let's get to the dream formula right now. This isn't in, in a blog post. So if you don't have notes or don't want to take notes and you're more than welcome to go to my blog at healthofit.com. It's dashes between each word, health-of-it.com. And you can read my latest blog. Unleash your inner dreamer, the dream adventure. Welcome aboard the dream express. Buckle up and prepare for an exciting journey towards turning your wildest dreams into reality. Today, we're diving into the dream formula, a magical map that'll guide you through the enchanted forest of your aspirations. And let's embark on this adventure together. The D in dream stands for define your goals. What is your epic quest? Picture yourself as a brave adventurer setting off on a quest to find the hidden treasure. But hold on, before you grab your compass, you need to define your goals clearly. What is your epic quest? What do you want? I want you to take a moment to ponder deeply, whether it's slaying a career dragon, discovering personal treasures, or unlocking the secrets to a legendary lifestyle. Please write it down. Write it down. Visualize it and make it sparkle like a gemstone that's in the sun. Make it shiny. Give it detail. Remember, knowing your destination is the first step towards your thrilling adventure. The R in the dream formula is for reveal your emotion. Channel your inner hero. How do you want your inner hero to feel? Now I want you to close your eyes and I want you to channel that inner hero. Imagine yourself triumphantly achieving your goals. How does it make you feel? like a victorious warrior, a wise wizard, or a daring explorer. Let those emotions flow through you like a river. Feel the exhilaration, the joy, the empowerment. These emotions are your secret weapon. They're powering your journey with passion and courage. The E in the dream formula stands for explore your why. 
discover your quest heart. What's at the heart of your quest? That's your why. Every epic quest has a deeper purpose, the quest heart that beats it meaningfully. Dive deep into the caverns of your soul and discover why your quest is essential for you. What values does it align with? How will it change your life and the lives of those around you? Uncover the hidden treasures of your motivations of why you are doing this. Understanding the significance of your quest will ignite the fire within you, propelling you forward through every challenge. The A in the dream formula stands for activate your magic. Craft your adventure spell, your mantra, your statement of truth. This is the time for you to activate this magic. As you create this powerful mantra, this spell that encapsulates your purpose and intention, you let it creatively soar you as you weave the words of wisdom and wonder. Repeat your adventure spell daily. Your statement of truth is letting in these enchanting melodies. Let them echo through your mind, through your soul. This powerful mantra will be your guiding star, lighting up the darkest nights of doubt and unclarity. The M in the dream formula is to make it happen. Take action right now. The adventure awaits. The final step of our epic adventure is to make it happen. You're armed with the clarity, the courage, and the trust of your adventure spell. And now you can set forth on your quest. Break down your goals into bite-sized adventures. Embark on them with enthusiasm. Remember, every step you can take brings you closer to the treasure, the treasures that your dreams. So strap on your boots, grab your map, and let the adventure begin with the dream formula as your trusty guide. Your adventure awaits. Define your goal. Channel your emotion. Explore your why. Activate your magic and set forth on this epic quest called your life. The kingdom of your dreams is waiting to be conquered. Go forth, brave adventurer, and make your wildest dreams come true. I just, I wanted to have something, you know, that I could just say, hey, yeah, we're going to do the dream formula, just like my 90 second rule. You know, if I say, have you done the dream formula? My clients are going to know what that means because the dream formula is the basic blueprint foundation for you to know what you want, how you want to feel, why you want it. And then you're going to be able to, to create your, your mission statement, your statement of truth, your mantra, whatever you want to call it, that you will repeat daily to yourself to help you remind yourself of what you say you want. And every day you'll take action on it. That's the dream formula. What do you want? How do you want to feel? Why do you want these things? What's my powerful statement of truth that's going to motivate me to it? And what action am I going to take? See, dream it. Dream big. Make the dream formula work for you. And watch your life just unfold in the way that you choose instead of just the way that it is. Are you ready to begin? Are you ready to begin the dream formula? I hope so. I look forward to the next time. Talk to you soon.